Sports Grid Live in Las Vegas with a pair of Dallas Cowboys. We've got Stefan Gilmore and Brandon Cooks. Appreciate you guys stopping yeah, yeah. by. Uh, I want to start with why you're out here, yeah. uh, which is he gets us. Yeah. And, Brandon, I'll ask you, tell us what that is about and what <clears throat> message you guys are delivering. Yeah, you know, the message is obviously, you know, he gets us. It's really talking about Jesus, how he loves everyone. Uh, you know, encouraging you to love your neighbor. Um, love, you know, spreading love, kindness, generosity. And what is your neighbor? It's not people that look like you, right, or talk like you. It's people that don't look like you, mm -hmm. that may not talk like you, different walks of life, uh, but still having the ability to love them and, and love each other uh, no matter what's going on. Uh, and then, Stefan, you guys are out here doing some very specific great stuff during this weekend in Vegas? Yeah, we just doing um, – we did something today for He Gets Us, just you know, spreading the love. Yeah. Like he said, let's uh, – building our foundation on faith and just mm -hmm. um, showing love to one another. Yeah. And just today, right now we're doing a lot of interviews, just, mm -hmm. you know, talking ball. So it's been fun. I have noticed, I mean, obviously just watching, but yeah. it does – seem very nice that at the end of the game sometimes yeah. whoever kind of shares the same faith will yeah. come together yeah. no matter the team yeah. and is that something that I guess keeps guys kind of bonded throughout the league Brandon yeah no absolutely it's, it's also give you the ability to you know share your faith um, and give God glory no matter the circumstances obviously during the game win lose or draw you like to be there in the middle because yeah it kind of shows you the people that uh, are kind of walking that same walk of life uh, mm -hmm. with you for sure yeah uh, Stefano I, I want to ask you about playing for Dan Quinn uh, he makes the move to Washington f for you what was it like playing under Quinn in Dallas he was a great coach he um he he, he found a way to jail with the players and be hard on them yeah you know and I, I wasn't surprised how, you know, the last four, three or four years, mm -hmm. Dallas defense has been playing at an elite level. Um, but he had a great opportunity to go to Washington and be a head coach again. And I'm, I'm happy for him. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it was a great year, you know, just to, just to be coached up under him. For you heading uh, into free agency, is that something that factors in? Mike Zimmer's now going to be the D.C. Uh, in Dallas, or are we a little far out from figuring that all out? That's what I heard. I don't know if that's uh, official yet, but I, that's what I heard. But Zim is a great coach, old yeah. school guy. Um, all his defenses played great, you know, when he coached them. So um, that wouldn't be a bad thing to have him as a coach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Brandon, getting to play with Dak, yeah. is, it's an interesting – look, Dak's getting judged on a different standard. He was in the MVP race right. all season long, but the back end of it, yeah. didn't end in the result that you guys wanted. A yeah. couple of pick sixes in the first half uh, against Green Bay, but what was it like for you playing alongside Dak this season? I mean, it was it was great. I, I love Dak. I, like I told him, man, he became like a brother and only, you know, in a short time. Uh, yeah. I got a lot of respect for the way that he handled himself. Obviously, he gets judged because we got that star in our helmet, but at the end of the day, the way that he's playing is at the highest level. He can't do it by himself, you know what I mean? He needs his, his guys around him to step up, whether that be O-line, receivers, running backs. Um, you know, it takes everyone to mm -hmm. kind of help him, especially in the playoffs. Yeah. At the end of the day, you need everybody on board doing their thing. Yeah, so. I, I'm curious if, if I can just bring up the game against Green Bay where all, a team is on a heater like they were because Jordan Love in that game was just kind of clicking on all cylinders. Is there a moment where you're like, I don't know how we're going to be able to stop this guy today? Because that's the thing about football. In a seven-game series like basketball, right, or hockey, the better team typically right. can win out. And you guys had an incredible season. But in that one game, they yeah. came out so on fire, Stefan, and put you guys behind the eight ball early. I just think um, at the end of the day, they played more physical than we did. You know, they it was able to establish the run yeah. early. And, you know, once you do that, you know, the defense got to play perfect. So we couldn't stop the run. Mm -hmm. You know, it set up the play action pass and things like that. So, yeah. um, you know, that's what it really comes down. I think the most physical team is going to win the game, and, and they, was, they was that that day. Yeah. Uh, you both have Super Bowl experience. I I'll ask you, Brandon, going into the game uh, on Sunday, is there something about that matchup between yeah. the Chiefs and the Niners that stands out to you? Yeah, I, th I think the biggest thing, obviously you talk about the rematch. Uh, you know, this time around, like Kansas City defense, it was, I want to say was, you know, top five in the league yeah. this year. So they playing at a high level, right? And uh, the weapons that the 49ers have. But one thing that you can just never underestimate is, is Patrick Mahomes. Like, mm -hmm. did I think Baltimore was going to, you know, win that? I did. So but did the I. way it, it – Mahomes is Mahomes. And when you got that it factor, mm -hmm. uh, I feel like I, you, you just never – 
you can never go against that. So I'm looking forward to the matchup because Kyle yeah. Shanahan, great coach, mm -hmm. uh, Mahomes, and, uh, and that defense going against those weapons in, in, in San Francisco. I look forward to it. Yeah. So I'll ask you just, Stefan, about the matchup between Kelsey and then yeah. Fred Warner and, and Dre Greenlaw, right? That's one that a lot of people are kind of keying on. How do Fred and Greenlaw, and I guess the Niners defense Tell what as you would a do, whole, Steph. Huh? Try and lock him in. Tell him what you'll do. Oh, what I do? Yeah, yeah. yeah dude, just, please. Just put me on him. It'll yes, be happening. Sir. <laughs> nah, yes, sir. Nah, um, it's going to be a great matchup. You know, they got an elite defense. Uh -huh. um, Travis Kelsey is an elite, elite tight end, but I think um, it ain't going to be one guy to stop him because they play a certain scheme. They play mostly cover three zone. Yeah. So it's going to be a whole team. They got to get to the quarterback. And um, it's not going to be one person to stop Travis Kelsey. It's going to have to be the whole defense. But is there something to that? Because I remember when Gronk was – I mean, for, he had a great career, obviously. But the Jags were throwing Jalen Ramsey on him, and that was working. So is that – see, this is why I like – Wait, when, when that happened? No, AFC Championship? Remember, that? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't remember I, that. I know how it worked. I don't remember that. <laughs> I don't remember that one. But, yeah. no, look, it worked out great for you guys. I understand that. But, but look, no, Ramsey's I know a great player. But I'm is just there, saying they, it, they don't really match up scheme-wise. They don't yeah. really put a corner on a tight end. You know, yeah. they, that's, they, that's not what they do. They play cover three. They play man. Like, nobody – it's not going to be one person that stopped yeah. them. They yeah. haven't done it all year unless something changed. Do you – when you get to the Super Bowl, though, can you make a change like that or you're breaking tendency uh, too much? <laughs> You can, but it's been working all that. year. <laughs> <laughs> got scars from that. Yeah. yeah. What are you referring to? I mean, when, when the Ram, we played the new uh, the Patriots in the Super Bowl. Yeah. All year they was running man on film. Um, we get to the Super Bowl, they switch it all up. Yeah. Played that six one defense and ran zone, but yeah. never really showed that. I know didn't show it at all during the season. Yeah. So you can get so to answer your question, you can depends who your coach is. You can switch it up if you Bill if you got the it. confidence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that so that's what's super interesting though about these two coaches for me, because Andy now has all the Super Bowls to back it up. I think everybody you alluded to it, Kyle Shanahan's an incredible play caller, yeah. but until you win a Super Bowl, yeah. and even sometimes winning one isn't enough. You guys know that playing for Mike McCarthy. Until Kyle Shanahan wins the Super Bowl, people are going to always doubt yeah. just how great he is, right? Yeah, I think uh, for sure. I mean, that's that's what it comes down to. You got to win the big one. But uh, he's a great coach regardless. But I think they got the team that should have do it. They yeah. have talent everywhere on their team. On their team, So Brock Purdy's playing well. Yeah. So they got opportunity, but it's just you got one of the greatest players to ever play the game, Pat Mahomes. Yeah. You can't bet against. So it's going to be a good game. Well, uh, yeah. we'll find out. Uh, again, yeah. if he gets us, that's Brandon Cooks yeah. and Stefan Gilmore. The most I've learned all week, I think, yeah. going into this game. I appreciate I it. I love it, man. All right, awesome. Yeah. yeah.